Hello friends, this is Growl. Welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number whatever it is. Don't feel like opening my YouTube right now to see how long it's been since I posted a real video, but don't worry, it'll, it'll come soon, guys. We'll, I'll start doing it again soon. I've actually recorded a few different things that, I don't know, just been... I don't know. Oh well, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it, but for now we gotta open our boxes. We did okay last week. I got a eight boxer on my shaman and priest and then one on some others and four on my pally. So I'd say like medium box or uh, medium vault on average. Uh, the good news is we will start raiding again today. I think with well, my dungeon difficulties on uh, heroic. Yeah, we're going to start. We're going to start reclaiming mythic raid. I think I'm going to rejoin humble and just start raiding there again. I wasn't sure what my plans are going to be next tier or uh, next expansion i guess but uh looks like we're just gonna keep doing this all right someone in the someone in the lobby is excited after getting a 278 weapon hopefully we can keep their luck hopefully we don't get a lingering sun moat for three weeks in a row or prodigy 264 we get a weekly vault every week and we're still 264 I really hate to see that one we have a belt Okay, well, a crit verse belt, 278. That's an upgrade. We'll take it. Sort of the, the point of doing a doing a key every week is hopefully at some point this guy becomes playable. I just don't really feel like grinding up the... Uh, I need all the flux. I need to get, like, another 5,000 flux to make two more tier pieces and two more legendaries. So, oh well. <laughs> we got two item levels from one belt. Oh boy, those do not look like fun affixes. <laughs> I had to take a little peek to see what it, I was in for later. This might be a uh, maybe. Maybe this is maybe this is actually the YouTube week. I mean, it's been fun. I, I've, I've still been streaming a lot, and uh, if you guys have been hanging out there, I'm sure you've been seeing some keys and stuff. But maybe, uh, yeah, maybe this week is the week that we don't play too much WoW. The affixes did not look great. Now onto our Druid. Our Druid is at least not as low as our Misweaver, but still missing a lot of pieces. Uh, let's check loot spec, balance. Okay. We're actually still missing a lot of good pieces. Well, uh, we have some, we do have some good pieces though. Uh, that is not one of them. Unlucky. Yeah, I feel like my Druid does kind of need to start doing four uh, keys a week just for that extra vault slot because He's getting, I mean, I could still use like a lot of rings and trinkets and stuff, but oh well. On to the next one. Hopefully we'll actually, uh, we're saving our good luck for our other guys. I really wish my pally was more geared. I kind of want to play it a little bit more. I mean, it's not that far behind, but the the top Chinese teams right now are just slamming with uh, HPAL. Actually, I think uh, Aster and Anuo are not playing HPAL, but two of the two of the three top chinese teams are playing h pal uh 274 yeah our item level isn't terrible we got a couple okay rings oh we could use a weapon weapon's always nice think we need some uh shoulders too yeah let's see what we got actually check loot spec i've actually been playing a little bit of tank prop paladin is very fun i think we only have two slots and we have a crit haste shield which isn't particularly good oh no and a helm that's we already have like this is gonna be a, a token angle or poor paladin or all of my characters although we're getting we're getting late enough in the uh i have too many of them Jeez, that's not the message that you want to see i'm not sure why they Oh wait, that's not what I want to buy. I want to buy this. Not sure why they cap you on the number of them you can have. Okay, so we'll grab this. Wait for this timer again. <laughs> Is there anything I want to socket? Uh, probably this. It seems pretty unlikely I'd get something much better than this neck. We'll throw a we'll throw a verse gem in there. All right. Could use some valor and upgrade like this ring and some other stuff too. Could get a pair of shoulders and upgrade them. We will hold on to this if we want to upgrade these and tier these. 
We could put a socket in this helm too. Let's just do that, why not? Let's go socket this. All right. All right, well, even though we took tokens, we got 30 or so verse double sockets, so. All right, on to the shaman. Even though these guys have three boxes, they're pretty hard to get upgrades for. So. What does my shaman need even? My shaman's gear is actually pretty good. My shaman needs a one-hander for sure. I need a one-hander. Uh, let's see. I could use a, a trinket here, but honestly, I kind of would just use this and then the sausage trinket. My rings are pretty good. All this is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. My shaman doesn't have that many upgrades it can get. Oh, well, we'll maybe we'll just take token. Yeah, we actually have zero tokens on our shaman. And I haven't even socketed a single item. We've just gotten an upgrade from every one of our vaults for the entire patch, which is nice. Oh, I didn't check loot spec, but usually my shaman's fine. All right, so we have a ruby. Not particularly compelling. 278 pants with indestructible or 278 gloves. I think I already have these gloves. So the question is just, do I get these pants and tier these and lose the avoidance, but gain the stats? Probably. Hmm. This is a hard decision because I actually do need these sockets. I actually could use a, a socket. There's lots of stuff I would want a socket. Ruby. Yeah, I already, I mean, this could be a good trinket, but I already have good trinkets, so I don't really care too much. I'm going to need to find the, get, grab the sausage trinket anyway. Um... Oh, I just accidentally turned on sticky keys. Damning my shift button. Okay. Um, I guess this is really uh, ever. I'm going to, I'm going to take the pants. I don't know if I'm going to use them for every key, but I feel like there's at least some keys where I'd rather just have the item level over the avoidance. Giving up avoidance definitely feels bad in like really high keys, but I at least want to have the option and I can always get sockets later. Although to be fair, we have a lot of sockets we need to get. All right, let's check on our priest. Being of avoidance, could really use one more avoidance piece on our priest. I think we're sitting at like 10% right now, but very hard to get upgrades on this guy. Unfortunate that our shaman cannot get a weapon. Yeah, we are priest. We there's definitely upgrades we can get from raid. We get mythic version of this, mythic version of this. Um, but other than that, all my other gear is pretty good. There are like we could get 278 wrists or back or something, or like one of my other pieces with avoidance. I don't know. We'll see. I think once we start raiding though, this guy will have, we'll be able to get some upgrades on this guy again. What do we got? Oh, okay. So we got 278 shoulders, which we already have. We have the minuscule male elemental, which is a trinket that I don't think is particularly good. And haste verse neck. Um. I think I take tokens here, unfortunately. Because let's say I don't use... Do I have this already? I have this at 262. Here's the thing is if I, if I don't use flash concentration on neck and I'm using harmonious, I use it on ring and then I use the crafted neck. So I don't think I would ever use any of these items. I do think taking this and trying this out might be fun, but I don't know, no. Haste primary? No, we take tokens. Is there even anything we can socket at our priest? I might have tokens in my inventory already. Um, so we socketed this. Do we socket our belt next, I think? We actually have four sockets on this guy. Holy smokes. Yeah, we, we either socket the belt or the wrists. 
Uh, since we raid today, I guess I'll just hold on to these. I'll get my socket item, but we'll I'll hold on to these. No reason to decide what's a socket now, because if I get to upgrade in either of those slots, it'll be chilling. Well, a little bit disappointing, but that's what happens when you get this late into the season. Let's see what do we got here. Uh, the weekly quest is time walking. It's only a normal raid piece, and it, yeah, no one really cares about normal raid pieces anymore that you can catalyze stuff. Uh, yeah, so the weekly affixes are not super fun. Tyrannical, bolstering, explosive, encrypted. I will say that it, bolstering has gotten a lot better. It's still an affix that's not my favorite, really, and it can get a little bit annoying. But the fact that it's temporary is very, very nice. And so you don't end up losing that much time unless you like really brutally mess up the affix. It still is a little tough in some spots, but the fact that it's limited on time and it doesn't work on bosses is actually pretty good. So don't be afraid uh, if, if you guys forgot about those changes, if you haven't played in a while, don't forget about uh, that you 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 can actually pull trash into bosses and it's fine. And also like even if you giga bolster a mob in a pub, it's like as long as you can live and it doesn't instantly wipe you, the bolster will run out eventually. Um, the tough one, the affix that I've been getting more and more frustrated with is explosive. Uh, a lot of people ask me about explosive. I would say in most groups, it's generally the healer's responsibility to kill the explosives. However, it's a lot harder to do that in pugs with no communications. Like when I'm playing with a more organized group, I can just get all the explosives. And then if I'm ever in trouble or need to heal, then I'll just yell in comms like, hey, help with explosives or like, you know, any, anything to let people know that there's danger. But in a pub, it can be hard because like the team might not necessarily know when they need to help you unless they're like pretty aware players and they like, you know, say something or they see all the explosives or they understand the damage patterns or whatever. So I would say like in pubs, as a DPS, you probably want to try your best to like hit him. And at the same time, like depending on what level you're playing, your healer just might not be at that level where he can switch between offense and defense and be killing explosives regularly. It's, you know, like if you're doing a weekly 15 key, don't let your team blow up and then yell at the healer, you know, because you don't know the, the skill level of the guy that you're playing with. But I was mainly more focused on uh, like higher end groups. But that being said, like, yeah, everyone generally in a pub should chip in a little bit. I know it hurts people's damage, but oh, man, we had a lot of sanguine healing in this key. <laughs> oh, this was a, a miss that we did with Bone Baby. This was a fun key. We, we did some keys with uh, Limit Max and Evade and JPC and Splat, who came over from EU was uh, pretty entertaining <laughs> to take somebody who doesn't know the dungeon mechanics into a 25. There's definitely some content I think I might, you know, if I ever do upload anything to YouTube, that maybe one of those keys might be one. But uh, yeah, that goes over uh, our boxes, our affixes. Unfortunate, not a lot of big upgrades, but hey, at least we got some, some sockets and stuff. So good luck in your guys' boxes as well. Be sure to tune into the streams if you're missing out on the YouTube vids. There's always a link to my Twitch in the description. And happy keying, friends.